I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the uh, second annual Sanford Burnham uh, Medical Research Institute Rare Disease Symposium. And I'm Hud Fries. I'm the director of the genetic disease program here at the Institute. And uh, you, Yamaguchi, and I have tried to put this meeting together. And uh, one special uh, aspect of this that some of you maybe all may not know is that this is being simulcast on the web. And so people around the world, if they want, are able to, to view this. And uh, I'd like to give a special welcome to our, to our speakers and then also to uh, our, our very special uh, keynote speaker, uh, Dr. Stephen Groff from the Office of Rare Disease Research at the NIH. So we usually try to, to have this meeting about the same time as the Rare Disease Day, which is both a national and an international recognized day to, to ha bring up awareness of rare and neglected disorders. And so for us, what's, what's important is to catch this wave, to be there as everyone is thinking about rare disorders. And... Uh, here we take a sort of a broad view of what rare disorders are and what we need to do here as scientists, as clinicians, to make these, these mm -hmm. stakeholders, the families, the people who are actually suffering from these diseases. We need to get together. And so from our perspective, the right way to do this is to have physicians, scientists, and family advocates, families talking to each other. And we try to facilitate that. And we need uh, translational applications of our work, of course, but we never forget for a second that the roots of all the translational medicine are the basic science. And the basic science is what we do here most. We're transitioning into more translational research, and you're going to see some uh, amazing stories today, some of the things of basic protein folding to absolutely impressive therapies. And today, you'll also see that, in the next slide, from uh, uh, our motto is from research, the power to cure. And it's not just a motto. It's fact. And you'll see some of those facts today. For instance, here is Dr. Jose Luis Mian, who will uh, uh, tell you a little bit about some of the therapies he's worked on. Doc Dr. Michael White will announce uh, some impressive results, I'm sure. And as we go on next, you'll see that uh, we have connections to patients. And this is really important to us because it integrates the people in the lab and our hearts into what we're doing in the laboratory. And we have uh, some achievements. And part of this is also bringing together not only government, patients, scientists, philanthropists is a very important part to raise money for all of us. And we've had some achievements and some successes. And in the, uh, in the next slide, you'll see that uh, we really have our inspiration here. And the inspiration is, as we say, our angels up above, and then the troopers who are still with us. And we're fighting for them every day. So in the uh, next slide, I want to acknowledge our, our sponsors. Anovia Pharma has made uh, the airing on the web possible and provided some funding for the, the meeting itself, Soft Bones, and the MHE Research Foundation has been important. And you'll see their table of displays out there, and do take a look at that. We've already made an important discovery today just from seeing one of the brochures, and uh, one of my former uh, postdoctoral associates said, I had no idea there was an, an available group in these disorders. In fact, he's tried actually some treatments. And so again, it's all of us getting together and that's what makes the difference. And uh, now I wanna go to something that is a little different and it's a very special announcement. Uh, just over four years ago, a family visited our laboratory because we had diagnosed their pride and joy rocket with a type of disease that we study, which is called congenital disorder of glycosylation 1A, for which there is still no treatment. But they wanted to help our research, and so they led to, this led to the creation of what we called the Rocket Fund. 
So the lab, we were the rocketeers. And we were committed to find rocket fuel, something that could be used as a therapy. We're still working on it. We're not there yet. And then grassroots uh, fundraisers sprung up in Los Angeles, New York, at 10-year-old uh, Xander Ladd's lemonade stand. All of these contributions came to our lab. Immense efforts, and especially the generosity of Rocket's grandparents, Bill and Dinah Rue. So they all drove our efforts, but sadly and, and tragically, John Taylor Williams IV, our rocket, passed away just a couple of years ago. But his family and, and the lemonade stand, they stuck with us. And they kept the faith with us. And so to honor Rocket's memory on this day, uh, we've now, with the family and the institute together, agreed to expand the Rocket Fund to cover all kinds of rare and neglected diseases studied here at the Institute. And you're going to hear much more about this campaign in the coming months. But uh, first, I would just like to introduce Rocket's parents, Taylor and Mia Williamson. Will you please stand up for us? And, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, a lot of love for you people. A lot of people are in your court. Uh, now I'd also like to introduce Rocket's very generous and very proud grandparents, Bill and Dinah Rune. Could you please stand up for just a second? Thank you. 